Welcome to ProfessorSavings.com. We teach finance basics. Hi, I'm your host today, Ray Phil Wong. Today, we're going to talk about how to read a stock chart, stock table. Now, let's start off. A stock is a type of investment. Okay, we got that. Buying a stock is more, in a way, buying a share ownership of a company. For me, I use Google every day and I know it's making good money from charging advertising. So I'm gonna buy some some shares of Google. I'm gonna type in, what is the stock symbol for Google? And I find out it's G-O-O-G. That's the name Google and the symbol G-O-O-G. What happens is that a flood of information pops up in this chart. But my best advice is don't get overwhelmed. Let's start with 52 week high. This is a little obvious. In 52 weeks, what is the highest price that has it, that Google has been trading? 52 week low is the lowest price that Google shares has been trading. Simple enough. Let's move along. Another information that you will find is a dividend. That's when a corporation makes a profit and gives back to the shareholders. One note to take is that not all stocks has a dividend. Google does not. We're going to go through this a little bit more. Volume is how many shares are traded a day. That's as simple as that. Let's say that the volume is 10,000. So 10,000 shares are traded a day. We're bringing up the chart Apple here. Take a look at Apple. It gives dividends. So some people like to invest in stock with dividends because, well, you're getting extra cash into your piggy bank. Moving along, let's talk about what a yield is. Pure math. It's dividing an annual, it's just dividing annual dividend by the stock price. Sorry, got a little tongue twisted. PE ratio. Well, it's the ratio between the price of a stock, as you can see here, and its company earnings. Just more information for you. Again, do not get overwhelmed. What we're covering is to learn how to invest, but not be overwhelmed and to be simple. Now the day last is the trading price that ended on that very day. People like to know about this information, especially after a stock has just IPO. Now the net change is how did the stock today do compared to yesterday? So that's the net change. Now, the summary of reading a stock table is that it takes time and experience to learn. But don't get overwhelmed because the information is there to provide you with knowing a little more about stock. So subscribe to our channel if you want to learn more about finance basics because we want to keep it simple. So that we